All right, I really love teaching polynomial division for this very moment. Not that I care about dividing polynomials. I actually don't care one bit about dividing polynomials. If I really wanted to do this, I'd probably just type into Wolfram Alpha or something. However, there's a wonderful meta lesson right now. This content is a beautiful vehicle for teaching a life lesson. Here's the life lesson we have right now. If there's something in life you want, make it happen. But deal with the consequences. For example, right now, I see that isolated dot over there, one dot there. I would love to have two dots right there. Okay, my life lesson, if you something in life you want, make it happen. If I want two dots there, put them in. There's two dots there, great. But there are consequences. This box is meant to be empty. I can't just really nearly put two dots in. I've got to keep this box empty. So how do I keep that box empty? I could do that by putting in two anti-dots as well. That box is still technically empty. But now, but now I've got at least one of what I want. I'm not sure if it's helpful, but it feels good at the very least. In fact, my brain says right now, oh, there's two dots over there. I would love to have one dot over here. All right, there's something in life you want? Make it happen. Deal with the consequences. Okay, so I did it. And now I see another thing of what I want. There's one dot next to two dots right there at that level. <sighs> okay, felt good, but I'm still not quite sure if it's actually helpful. And I look at that and I'm worried. I don't see any more dots, I only see anti-dots. Oh, I only see anti-dots. In fact, right here, I see one anti-dot next to two anti-dots. That is the complete anti-version of what I'm looking for. There's one anti-copy of what I want right there. And in fact, I see it again. There's one anti-dot next to two anti-dots right there. There's a second anti-version right there. It all fell into place. I see the answer is one at the x squared level, negative two at the x level, and one at the units level. x cubed minus three x plus two divided by x plus two apparently equals that. And do type into Wolfram Alpha, just do it by hand. Yes, that is actually correct. We survived, solved it. This is awesome. This, this exploding dots picture is going to work even if you have negative coefficients. So let's try another one. All right, let's do x to the fourth minus one divided by x minus one. Okay, a picture of what we're starting with is x to the fourth, so x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared, x's and ones. I want one x to the fourth and a one anti one. There it is. And we're looking for, within that picture, uh, this pattern. We're looking for a 1x and an anti-dot. So a dot next to an anti-dot right there. I don't see any. I'm not going to panic because if there's something in life I want, I'm going to make it happen. I would love an anti-dot to go with that dot there. Make it happen. Do all the consequences. Okay, that's super because now I've got one of what I'm looking for right there at that level. Great. Now I've got this lone dot here. Oh, I'd love to have an anti-dot to go with it. Make it happen. Do all the consequences. Okay, super. There it is. Great, another one of what I want. But now I've got this dot here. I'd love to have an anti-dot next to it. Something like you want? Make it happen. Do all the consequences. There we go. And I see another one of what I want. And then finally, oh, I really lucked out. There's another copy of what I want. One dot next to an anti-dot. So I can see the answer is actually an x cubed with an x squared and an x and a one x to the fourth minus one over x minus one is x cubed plus x squared plus x plus one. Great! Let's do another example. All right, let's try x to the sixth power plus one divided by x squared plus one. All right, so there's gonna be a really long set of boxes here. All right, x to the sixths, x to the fifths, x to the fourths, x to the cubes, x squared, x's and ones, there we go. I've got one x to the six and one, x to the six and one, there it is. And what am I looking for? I'm looking for this pattern. I'm looking for an x squared, no x's and a one. I'm looking for dot blank dot. All right, I'm looking for literally that pattern. I don't see it right now. In fact, I would love to have a dot there because that would give me that pattern right there. Make it happen. If you want it, make it happen. Do all the consequences because that box is meant to be empty. I've kept it empty. All right, so great. There is one of what I want right there. Ooh, um, okay, I'm gonna go over here. Um, I'd love to have a dot there to balance that out with that pattern. If I want it, make it happen. Do all the consequences. All right, great. So then I've got another one of what I want right there. Okay, now I'm getting nervous. Oh, I'm not nervous. Look at those two anti-dots. Right there is an exact anti-version of what I'm looking for. Oh my goodness, it just fell into place. So I can see the answer is uh, x to the sixth, x to the fifth, that x to the fourth, so it's x to the fourth minus x squared plus one. This is just magic.